Hey guys, the video clip that you're about to see is a conversation I had with Yusuf, who is a doctor who went viral on Twitter due to his reasons as to why he left the NHS to pursue his passion as a fitness entrepreneur. In this conversation, Yusuf takes us through all the positive aspects that he experienced working as a junior doctor in the NHS. If you want to check out the entire podcast I filmed with Yusuf, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Otherwise, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So when you started off working as a doctor after medical school, before we talk about the negative sides, what were the kind of things that you enjoyed or maybe miss, um, you know, working as a doctor? So I think the first thing that particularly you and your viewers will love is mm -hmm. that you finally get to put the stuff that you've been learning to use. Mm -hmm. And when you've been poring over the kind of details and stuff in med school, it's great to see it finally come together and be like, ah, right now it's clicking. And I think yeah. that feeling, maybe I was a, a late bloomer. I'm, I'm certainly not a, amazing i wasn't an amazing medic mm -hmm. um but it, it all only really started to come together towards the end of final year okay whereas in first second and third year you sat you know learning about the acetyl coa um and glycolysis and mm -hmm. the different g coupled receptors and you're like what like how <laughs> how is this and then you anatomy of the lung and, and all these kind of disparate things and, and it's finally when it comes together that you're like ah right now i understand there is a mm -hmm. full system here and i can implement a protocol with mm -hmm. the knowledge that I have kind of a um something that's supporting it and the, the knowledge structures underneath yeah so that's lovely um okay the other thing is that for most people their degree isn't useful it's a signal mm -hmm. to employers to say i'm able to sit on my ass for four years and do yeah. the exams so please employ me whereas Absolutely. with medicine it, it's very much application okay yeah, I think I really resonate with the first point you met, you made. Um, when I was in yeah first second year, I was really thinking about oh, you know like why am I learning all these things for these exams? How is you know like you said a G protein couple receptor going to help me as being a doctor? And then when I get to final year and I get to my OSCEs, and surprisingly in my OSCEs, I really really enjoyed them because that's the point where you're like oh my god you know I'm actually doing this for real. Uh, I'm managing an emergency situation. I'm you know um, assessing a really unwell patient, and that's where it finally clicks and comes together. And that's what I'm really looking forward to doing as a doctor. Like I am really, really nervous and really scared to obviously be that person, you know, on an on-call shift dealing with a really acutely unwell patient. But also I'm really looking forward to that point where I'm like, ah, oh, all the time in the library and all the things I learned finally make sense in it. And I can definitely apply to it. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think it's great that you have that attitude as well, because there are people mm -hmm. who that, and it's easy to do, you get so focused on just the next step mm -hmm. that you forget that actually I'm, I'm learning this for a reason. I'm learning this for my career you know it's not just to tick the box in med school but it's to it's to enrich me as a clinician mm -hmm. life in a lifelong thing um yeah. the other big benefit of foundation is that you're finally being paid for the stuff rather than paying out of your own pocket yeah. um so it's, an, it's a nice shift going from kind of paying nine grand a year for the yeah. privilege of sitting these exams and putting yourself through all this stress to find mm. um, the cash flow reversing saying that I've still not come even close to breaking even on my degree. So, so we can talk about that in the, in the downsides. Definitely. And yeah, no, I think, um, I mean, that's one thing I'm definitely looking forward to in terms of, you know, you know, getting paid finally and not having to pay out of my pocket hundred percent. Another point I think, um, that I can relate to is medicine is a really long and stressful degree. So when I was there for five years and three years before that, trying to get to med school for my last degree, when I was in the library, uh, in my second year of, let's say med school, for example, when I was really tired and stressed out, knowing that what I'm studying right now could really make the difference between, you know, life and death one day really made my time in the library worth it. Like I loved my last degree in biomedical science, but there were times when I was in the library studying biomedical science, thinking, why am I learning this random like experimental model that I probably will never ever use again. And I still haven't used till this day. And that can be like quite demotivating at times. But when I was in medicine, literally everything I was learning, at least in my clinical years, especially were all um, relevant. And, you know, hopefully soon I will see, you know, the kind of gain that I'm getting from the time I spent in the library suffering at that particular time. Or so I thought I was. There's a lot of wisdom in you saying that as well. Cause I think if you can connect your, what you're doing right now to your higher values and your higher vision and goal, it makes mm -hmm. things so much more tolerable. Um, Absolutely. I'm going to butcher another quote here, but is it he who mm -hmm. has a why can tolerate anyhow, something like that? Okay. Yeah. Never heard of that, but that's, that's going up my wall. So from memory, it's Nietzsche, but, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> it's probably not. It's one of the, probably one of these quotes that just gets put onto like Einstein or Newton yeah. or whoever, but 
that's such a good quote though because if, if you expand on that i guess it's, it's it's talking about as long as you have a wife or what you're doing and what you're doing actually becomes easier is, is that is that what i guess it's pretty much saying yeah absolutely there was yeah. one more thing that you mentioned there which is that when you've got in an oski situation you are doing as close to a simulation of of the thing that you, you'd be doing day to day Mm-hmm. One thing I did find really useful about foundation training is the fact that you've got clinicians at different levels as you go up. So, you, you know, you'll mm-hmm. be working with an SHO, a reg, a consultant. Yeah. And so you get a really good feedback loop as long as you're okay. in a hospital that's, that's decent or you're not so rammed that um, they haven't got time to give you feedback. But mm-hmm. particularly in if you're working, um, have you got a job in the admissions suite or A&E? Uh, I do have, yeah, second year. I'm in it. Oh, sweet. Okay. So that's the best way to just, it's almost like multiple OSCE stations and, Mm. you know, you, you have the patient, they're entirely yours to, to deal with and do the first pass with them. So Mm. you go through history, examination, investigations, treatment plan, you then might run it past a SHO or or reg or um, consultant. Mm. They'll then say, yeah, good stuff. Maybe add in this, or you might have forgot this, or they'll be like, Mm. yeah, brilliant. Um, or no, that was completely terrible, and you've you've totally uh, misdiagnosed. Great, yeah. like it's just it's such it's so good to have that instant feedback yeah. with a patient, and um, it not just being an academic exercise. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm looking forward to. I think that that instant gratification is so so good. In my last degree, when I was thinking about medicine or science, I was thinking with science you do get that uh, gratification, but it can take three to five years to solve a problem in science and to find out what the answer is. And like, for me, that would just blow my mind. Like, I just couldn't do that. But in medicine, you know, being able to go into a job every single day and knowing that literally everything I do will have, um, you know, an answer and I'll know how I've also performed is really key. And again, you know, if you're assessing a really unwell patient and um, you come up with a diagnosis in your head and you want to treat them, you know, if you give uh, someone who, um, let's say, I don't know, has um, a heart attack, so an ACS, and you give them, you know, GTN, immediately give them a drug, um, that they may get instant relief from that. And again, that also makes you feel better. So I'm so excited to do that. So final thing on on this, this is mm-hmm. just, just because of the way that you think and approach this, and I would advise for anyone watching that it's like, oh yeah, that sounds great, is keep a log, keep a personal log, obviously, mm-hmm on the hospital systems um, for patient data security and so on of these patients and follow up yeah. with them. Okay. So, you know, if you've got um, that ACS patient, you're like, oh, I wonder what happened to that guy with chest pain. You, what you don't okay. want to have is for him to come in A&E, you boot him out the door, you send him to medicine, you've totally forgotten about him. It's nice to follow up and just close that loop. So you're like, okay, mm. I can see that my initial management plan took them here and then this happened and then they got, and then they are being followed up in clinic and they're okay. Or, or whatever yeah. and it, it's just nice to kind of close the loop and great for learning that's so true because you learn more than what you've just done in that particular point rather than the you know an hour you spend with them you, you may learn five hours worth of you know of material just from from looking forward so that's yeah, that's such a good point i'm definitely going to do that as well i'm nosy um, as well so it's always yeah. <laughs> it's always good to that's true that. well you have a license to be nosy isn't it so so why not use it um, yeah.